Hello, it's Grower Deacon Dave here, still growing in Missouri. Okay, let's look at tent number one. Do a little review here. We got two old, uh, two auto flowers sitting in here because I ran out of room. They seem to be doing fine in the 12-hour cycle. Uh, that's an OG Kush there, and another one up the front here. Then in the middle, I got another Gorilla Glue clone. This is a bubble gum in the front. I got a Gorilla Glue in the back corner there that's just about ready. It's a little bit too rich in nitrogen, so I'm flushing it now. Just about ready to harvest, maybe five days or so. And a Pebble Punch, same thing, ready in about five days or so. It's getting some nice, nice stacks here, you can see. Okay. Tin number two is now nothing but Gorilla Glue. I got three pans of Gorilla Glue in here. And in the back corner, you can see all these. I mean, they're just, they're beautiful. So, they're starting to fade. Starting to do their uh, end of the season fade, kind of, if you will. Um, starting to change colors. Got some beautiful, beautiful buds here. Okay, and a um, couple things I did with my lights here. Take a look at this Vipar Spectra here. I stitched together a 1500 and a 1000 to make my own 2500. Still has independent drivers, and I can dim each end individually. So I did that, and I stitched together a couple of my Carambala 1000s here. Made a nice little 2,000 watt fixture out of it, 200 watts roughly, basically. Um, all I did was add some bolts here to tie it together. So, some things I've been doing on my lighting to uh, improve my lighting. And I got a Carambala and a Spider Farmer stitched together back there. So, that's some things we've been doing on the lighting. Tent number three, okay, in the back corner, we have a Northern Lights, Jack Hare Mutant in the center there, a huge OG Kush that's really starting to fill the tent corner up there, another OG Kush, let's take a look at this bud here, look at that delicious bud, mm. okay, never mind, and that's another OG Kush, a little squatty little pheno type there. Um, and I'm going to try to give you a good view of this Jack Hare Mutant here. Look at this plant. Is that the weirdest thing you ever saw? Let's zoom in on these buds, though. They're really fattening up. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. That's the Jack Hare Mutant. And in front here, I have a White Widow um, in this corner here. Okay, and these two beauties here are two amnesia haze. I gotta keep some sativas in my stable. And these smoke really well. Okay, down at the bottom, you can see a Gorilla Glue clone down there. You know, coming along. And in here we have, uh, if you can see it at all, let's see if I can get in there. Maybe from the other angle here. Hold on. Yeah, there's the fruity pebble in the back corner there. I've been taking clones off it, so it's been kind of slow growing. So, six months into this now, folks. I want to go over a few things that I've changed in the meantime. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention. I did an experiment this week with germinating and compost tea. The... It worked phenomenally. Uh, the seeds all split within 24 hours and started putting roots out, literally within 24 hours. I put them in the paper towels, soaked them in the compost tea that they were soaked in, and within 24 hours I had roots on every one of them that were gonna root. There was two that were dead seeds that never came up no matter what. 
Seven of them germinated overnight. I left them there another day, which I probably shouldn't have. I ended up with an inch and a half curly roots that had a heck of a time getting them down into the root cubes when I was done. Here they are here. Uh, three bubble gum, or four bubble gum, and three northern lights. And you can just see, I mean, if I can get in there, you can just see how freaky some of those there's curls and everything else because I, I couldn't get all the root down into the root, uh, the root cube there. So, anyway, the rest of those are Skittles, seedlings over there, and I got some Fruity Pebble and Gorilla Glue clones there. The one on the end here is another Gorilla Glue clone. Yeah, I just keep taking them. Uh, it really is looking good, though. And in the back are my two mystery plants. Um, future, the future is definitely looking good for these plants. They're looking beautiful and healthy. Okay, so six months into this, let's go over a few things I've learned and I'm trying differently. First crops, I was averaging around 40 grams on my autoflowers and about 50 grams on my photos per plant. So I realized I needed to change a few things up. So I invested in some better lights and I invested in some good nutrients, general organics, and started working on how to use them correctly. Uh, I changed my soil to just using the Fox Farm Ocean Forest. I don't add anything to it, folks. It's good right out of the bag, so why do all the work mixing all that stuff? It's just put it right in the pot. It works great. Um, I'm using rock wool cubes now for my seedlings and my clones. I seem to be getting some, some success with that. Um, what else have I done differently? Oh, and uh, experimented with this kitty litter box pan, if you will, grow. Now, a few things I learned doing this. Well, you can't correct mistakes. If you over fertilize, you can't flush. There's no way to drain it, so you can't flush. Number two, you got to really be careful with your watering because you could overwater and I destroyed a plant, never could bring it back. I got the other one back, but the other one just never did come back completely. So you got to watch your overwatering. They need constant watering in the final stages because there's not a lot of uh, dirt down there to retain the moisture. So this has been an interesting experience and we're going to do it again. We're going to do a run of Skittles the same way. Probably only have three pans again because that's all I can get to germinate out of the 20 seeds. And uh, we're going to run it again, see how it does this time. Try a few things different. Okay, so I think looking at these plants, all of them, you're going to see much bigger yields this time. I'm predicting uh, some of these are going to bring in three and four ounces in some of these autoflowers here. I really do think so. I mean, they're just getting very thick. And on the Gorilla Glues, I'm predicting uh, uh, at least two ounces of plant, on the, even the ones in the kitty litter pan. So uh, we're, we're stepping up our game. We're trying to get this stuff to work better, folks. And it's the smoke itself has been phenomenal. I mean, it does the job. It's beautiful. It helps with our pain and, and all the other issues. But it's also a great smoke, uh, taste, flavor. Um, everything's been good so my curing seems to be working pretty well and my drying seems to be working okay so these are all things we're trying to change up and we're every every grow we're learning some new things we're trying to apply some new things to our grows so that we can become a better grower get more yield per cubic meter and all that good jazz and today I'll be closing out the program with my own OG Kush that I grew. I'm very happy with all the weed. And remember, keep taking your medicine.